Hey everybody, welcome to a game called Void Bastards. This game, I've been playing a little bit of it, and it is very addicting, it's very good. It's like a cross between FTL with influence from like System Shock. And the idea is like you're navigating an FTL styled map and then you board these ships to collect uh, materials. But on those ships, it's like an FPS and you're like, shooting things and trying not to die and managing oxygen, trying to navigate around these ships. It's really, really, addicting and uh, I think you guys are gonna like it a lot so I'm gonna start up a new game here get rid of the old one that I was doing I think I am gonna play I'm gonna play on hard I feel like normal was uh, at least from like a killing enemies perspective a little bit straightforward uh, this will make things a little bit tougher on me and uh, kind of up the survival aspect a little bit I don't have an option to go like Iron Man or not I might have to uh, maybe you have to beat it and this is for subsequent playthroughs it looks like you can add restrictions eventually. But uh, yeah, let's rock and roll here. <sighs> no being hell. Void Ark didn't pass his bloody checkpoint. Well, file 61B to head office. Unfulfilled delivery of resources. If it's in this Argasso Nebula, clients have all been lost anyway, eh? Yeah, I think so. Let's log off. Get rat instead. <laughs> there's a there's a really the, the humor in this game is actually exceptionally well done too. It's so it's just such a I've been having such a good time with it. I played about an hour and a half. Uh just experimenting with things, getting to know some of the systems. Sargasso Nebula, 283 light years away. Whoops a daisy. It looks like you've run out of bullets. Yeah, that's real convenient. Ammunition requests can be filed at the Void Arc. Thank you. Oh dear, return to the Void Ark is currently prohibited. Well, isn't that good? This prohibition will be lifted when you obtain the line printer, or in the event of your death. All right, so it's going to give us some of the tutorial elements. Um, we kind of want to stay out of vision of these guys if we can. There's certain th certain doors are locked. Uh, some It's actually not super common that they're locked. Um... We're going to try to avoid any enemies right now because, as he mentioned... Did you know the line printer is likely located in the admin cubes? We have no bullets. So here's our map. Uh, I really like this. In some areas, it'll actually um, block out your mini-map. You don't have access to it, which is kind of crazy. Uh, but when you open this up, you get an idea of where everything is so we've got uh, the ability to shut down security systems we can refill our oxygen restore power here at this generator this is really important up at the helm this will provide all the loot locations on your map uh, we need to go here as he said to try to find that line printer and uh, sometimes we'll get like sticky stuff on us like oil or whatever and uh, we can go here to remove contaminants so let's uh let's head to where he's asking us to Summon supply van. Five fuel, five food, or bullets. You know what? Supply ship summon for bullets. For three, days. Of supply vessel, three days. Uh, we could reset this if we had merits. Three days, eight percent. <laughs> eight percent. Wow. Okay. I didn't take food and I didn't take uh, fuel. Those are essential for traveling and bouncing from place to place. But the reason I didn't take them is because. Uh, we can find them quite often. And we'll see how that kind of consumption works out. But we've definitely... I, I've definitely run into situations in my testing where I run low on bullets. When you run low on bullets and you're just trying to navigate around these guys, it's a lot more stressful because you can see the oxygen ticking down. Avoid being incinerated by gunpoints. So we're going to navigate... Oh, hello. We're going to try and stay low here. These turrets, uh, when they see you, they take like a second or two to fire up. And then they'll start shooting. Oh, there he is. Why not use your local mapping device? Oh, I am back. So don't you worry, pal. Wait till he attracts. I really like the uh, the looting well system. Done. I'll 
be sure to note this requisition of a line printer in your parole hearing. It's super fast, it's super easy, Return you collect a ton Steve of different stuff. Now, recommended. now, um, we should go and check that helm. I think it's actually going to be locked in this tutorial, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, okay, so it's broken. And he's going to want us to evacuate right away. We'll try to avoid taking any more damage if we can. FYI, a vessel associated with dangerous occurrences is approaching. Sweet. Might I suggest a rapid evacuation? Yeah, you got it. Rapid evac. Coming up. Addendum. The vessel is docked and dangerous occurrences are now imminent. Looks like we lost some survivors. Do a sweep and clear Whoa. the ship. They're hammering us. Oh, don't worry. We're supposed to die there. It's not a big deal. Game Excellent. even tells us that. <laughs> Return to the Void Arc is now possible. Note to self. Issue more bullets to replacement client. Yeah, good advice. Thank you. Don't worry. It expected you to die. All right. So... The continuation in this game when you do lose a pilot is uh, really interesting. Some things carry over, but your progress is kind of impeded. It'll explain some of that here. Client expired. Discarding unregistered acquisitions. Retrieving loaned weapons. This is the Steve. Steve Our vessel. To return to Void Arc. I love the art style too, how it's like comic book panels but mixed with uh, fluid motion, and the voiceover work is just exceptionally well done. The PAL backpack busies itself with paperwork. P45 filed. <laughs> Steve cleared for docking. This is the Void Arc. One million F dried penal clients adrift, all hands lost. WCG client transport vessel. OHS violations have resulted in a premature end of life situation. Yeah, Recording slightly. Replacement client. Issuing <laughs> WCG client care package. So, this is our new client. So, you notice that this thing is housing like a ton of prisoners, basically. And if somebody dies, they give us a new prisoner. Some of them have these traits like Smoker, he's gonna randomly cough. So you can sneak around enemies if you wanna conserve bullets, uh, but this guy is just gonna be coughing all the time, so you're gonna have to fight. Congratulations. You have been selected to assist with an emergency staff turnover. Emergency staff turnover. Welcome nice name for it. Induction seminar. Unauthorized persons have boarded this vessel and rendered it inoperative. Your action item. Restart the FTL drive. Look at the... <laughs> wow. Okay, I need to see your citizen card to authorize the restart. Well, that's going to be a problem. Oops. As a WCG penal client, your citizen card has been shredded. Don't worry, you'll find parts to construct another one from on nearby vessels. The parts you need are a line printer and an ID card. Once you have the parts, you can assemble them on the Steve's workbench. So this is like our main objective now, to find a line printer and an ID card. It's our action item. Inoperable after a pirate attack, the WCG Void Arc floats helplessly in the Sargasso Nebula. Bax requires a human with a valid citizen card to restart the FTL drive. So all we have right now is uh, this gun, which is, you know, better than nothing. But eventually we can unlock a ton of other stuff here. Cluster Flax, Bouncers, Scramblers, Rebreathers. All this stuff is super helpful. Valued client, please follow the bouncing arrow to the line printer. So it shows us over here where the line printer is. Um, it's a ways to go. This is very FTL-like in form, in terms of uh, navigation. Now, 
if we go, if we want to go here next, which is our only option, you can see here that to jet, we need one fuel and one food, which we have one fuel. So here we're going to need to find fuel uh, on that ship. Food wise, you can also use this to rest and just heal. And uh, each one heals for 25, I believe, at least on normal difficulty it did. Uh, it might be less here. Who knows? Not sure. Uh, merits are things that we can spend at like vending machines and stuff to buy things that we want. Warp keys lets us go longer distances. Torpedoes lets us destroy pirates or whales. And heart starters revives you when you die. These are all pretty costly. Um, it also gives us a cool breakdown of what's coming up on the ship. So here we're going to have these guys called screws. There's going to be a few of them and a few janitors. These are pretty basic enemies. The screws are a little bit tougher. Um, but there's a buzz box detected. If we find that, then we can build bushwhackers. If you want to know what that is, we can go into our uh, section here. So once arms explodes when enemies near move near it. So basically like a proximity mine, which is pretty cool. All right. So let's go to our next location. We're going to jet over. Did you notice that there's a buzz box on this vessel? Oh, did I ever? Requisitioning it would not be substantively illegal. Okay, you got it. We're going in. We couldn't go anywhere else if we wanted to because we have no fuel. So let's rock and roll. We get to choose our loadout before. What's cool about this is you can adjust for the enemies that you detect on board. Murdering all citizens not required. So we definitely have to find fuel and, of course, the buzz box that he just mentioned. So we have oxygen reset here. We have security. This is a temporary system shutdown, by the way. So it'll temporarily shut down turrets, but it's helpful if there's a turret blocking something you want. And then here we can, like, launch things out. So uh, enemies and the like, we can kind of trick them into being in certain spots and then launch them out. But first thing we want to do is get to this helm so we can find all of the loot and ensure that we don't Warning. miss anything. The nebula has caused citizens to assume irregular forms. I'm sure no one would blame you for murdering them. <laughs> don't worry. We'll just come along and put this again. Someone let the cat out again. Okay, so we're quiet, but if we cough. <laughs> it'll be pretty obvious when we do. Anything highlighting green, Lost. we want to be looting. Fuel and part locations There's can some be bullets. Downloaded at the helm. Yeah, we're going to the helm uh, first. So there's the screw the thing, pretty strong. The worker is colloquially known as a screw. Given your capabilities, an attempt to murder him would almost <laughs> certainly fail. Yes, thanks for the confidence. But also, that's definitely true. We're gonna try and stay away from him, if at all possible. There, you just heard us cough. Alright, let's download the ship data, and now we can see where everything is. Uh, fuel, different loot, parts, etc. It shows us on the uh, mini-map as well, which is kind of nice, but... Okay, let's move, let's move. Four minutes left. Well, that ain't good. Okay, so this is the airlock. There's a janitor inside. Now, if we watch him... Look at this. <laughs> we can just launch him out of here. Now, we can, like... We can get creative with this. If we uh, find other airlocks and we want to eject a bunch of people, save some bullets. We can try and draw them in there. Good Not always job. easy. There's the our buzz box. Needs fuel, though. Perhaps you could look for some. Yeah. Don't worry. I'm on it. Got to pay attention, too, to not just the stuff that's yelling at you in bright green. But uh, there's also things that are laying around that are quite useful. Especially things like food. Careful. Now, the gunplay itself isn't, like, 
you know, it's not amazing. But it's responsive enough, it's fun. And that's the main thing, like, I've just I thoroughly enjoyed the, the time that I've been in here. Before you're killed or asphyxiated. We have 2 minutes 50 seconds left, which is actually not bad. If we wanted to, we could you can run back to these O2 stations. They have their own capacity that you can drain from to fill yours, and then you can stay on the ship for a little bit longer. Inside there is where we'd shut off security systems. I don't have any desire to mess with him. We need to be going the other way. I'll show you the oxygen real quick. So if we do need to explore the ship, um, see this has 5 minutes 38 seconds available. So we could refill this. Doesn't do anything now. If you run out and you want to extend even more, then you can pay merits uh, at a lot of things to like restock them. But it's usually quite expensive for what you're getting. Okay, cool. That's the first one. Successful. Now is where it gets... You're just out on your own. You do your own thing, which is awesome. So we stow the salvaged items that we get. The food, the fuel, and the buzz box. And then we recycle these things. And these turn into different um, crafting components. Different materials down here. So volts from batteries, data from... Uh, they all break down to different things. There's our bushwhacker. So now that we got that buzz box, we can actually create this. And this is another weapon that no we can now you use. Were wondering, what happens when I die? <laughs> yes. Don't worry. Other clients will make good use of any items you've constructed. That's true. They will. But uh, not everything carries over. Not everything does. And you also get like positive and negative traits. So some uh, pilots are going to have good things. You don't. You just don't want to lose them, right? Obviously. Why is this nebula a desolate void filled with derelict vessels? Great question. Unauthorized persons have boarded these vessels and requisitioned parts from them in an unauthorized fashion. Okay, so we know we need to get way over here. Now, there's a couple of things we need to take into consideration. This is a hungry hermit. Uh, benefits, you get a random part, but it takes all of your food. So, I'm not sure... Okay, yeah, and actually you only gain 20 health here on this difficulty. I haven't gone through one of these yet because I'm not sure what happens if you don't have food and you want to jump somewhere. Because if he takes all your food, then what? You know, maybe if you jump, you just lose health. That is possible. Not something I really want to experiment with uh, right now because we're right at the start. So... There's uh, FTL nozzles here that builds a stapler, which is another weapon. Same thing up here, so we're definitely going to go to this side. We don't have to investigate every ship either, but I think early on, just getting components, building up fuel, building up food, building up merits is uh, is pretty helpful. So there's some tourists here. These are one shot, one kills. There's some juves here. They're pretty basic as well. But uh, yeah, let's go. Also, let's see. There's therapy. You can provide new traits. So that's the machine that we'll run into. There's bullets, zap charges, and slag. Let's go for it. There's also some other things out here. So this Zon on the go will provide you with, like, tons of health. Basically, fill you right up. Um, there's merits that are just sitting out there. Sometimes there's fuel. All sorts of different things. Very FTL-like in nature. And uh, pretty familiar for anybody that's played that. So, All right, let's dock. Let's go. Bushwhackers and the gun. I'm good with this. These are, again, those, like, proximity mines. Okay, so. Where are we at here? Where do we want to go? We want to go over to the helm. Assuming that the power's on. If power's not on, then we'll go to power first. Power's on. So we'll work our way... Over to the helm. Now, you could argue that it might be worth just, like, beelining it for the helm. And not picking up anything. Oh. And I will say, it's gonna seem like early on we have more than enough bullets, more than enough everything. 
Uh, that doesn't last. That does not last. And eventually, we'll start going through these ships a lot faster, too. Whoa. That was close. Oh, nice. Okay. So we headshot these guys. One shot, one kill. Beautiful. They don't have a ton of health. They also... Sometimes certain enemies will drop things. Like, uh, fingers, which... <laughs> you recycle into, uh... Into crafting things. Zap charges will take. Please open your feeding hatch. Today's continental breakfast, cheese, and onion sandwich. <laughs> cheese and onion sandwiches. My favorite. Okay, we've we've reached the helm. There we go. So now we can see everything. Looks like there's some action in security. Let's work our way through here. I'm going to try to be pretty thorough in getting materials. There's like a little bit of bullet sway. So even if you're bang on in the middle. Uh, you still have like the whole cursor that can be used, right? So. There we go. And again, I probably don't have to kill all these guys, but. Oh, you got turrets. Okay. So here's an example where this is an oil slick, by the way, which will make our running a little bit more difficult. I'm going to try and avoid those where I can. Okay, we're going to shut down security. Now, severe penalties for self asphyxiation. You can requisition supplementary oxygen in Atmo modules. Atmo modules, got it. This is going to shut these off only for 30 seconds. Uh, that's not a long time. We could stand here and shoot and destroy it. On uh, normal difficulty, it's 45 seconds. We're in Atmo here. And these kind of have like a little bit of a radius where they blow up and sometimes if they're all clumped up, it's kind of nice. Full cards. The oxygen machine here. Let's refill. I left something in security, but we can double back and get that. Now, if I'm, like, super accurate and I only get headshots and I only take, like, one-shot kills... And our bullets are going to last a heck of a lot longer. Or, oh nice, we got a free bushwhacker. We drink this tea, and for 30 seconds we do tons of damage. Very nice. Okay, we want to go find that gene machine. Even though nothing is listed there, sometimes we do still find things on the ground, like I mentioned, so it's worth checking. Our caffeine is running out. That's fine. So here we go. We've got three options. We can remove smoker, which is the thing that's giving us uh, the random coughs. We can add a foot pad so we don't make any noise when we're running, which is pretty good. And we can authorize in half the normal time. Uh, this can be useful if there's, like, turrets blocking a door you need to get through. I'm actually going to remove smoker, though. So that we can just actually sneak if we want to. Oh, here we go. Let's see? Gotta get those foons. <laughs> Fork spoons, in case you're wondering. Classic. Okay, so we have a bunch of stuff back here. 
Um, we're going to head in that direction now. Whoa! The nice thing about the turrets, I mean, they're, I hate dealing with them, but the nice thing is that they take a second to power up. That's why I didn't see it. Oh, I do have one behind me. <laughs> John wicked him right there. Okay, I got three minutes. Three minutes. Oh no! Oh, that was a ton of damage. Okay, this is where we want to be. We're going to go through Garb. Now, we have these recycling machines where we can deposit... Um, uh, or we can sell these things that would normally give us, like, uh, materials. We can sell them to get credits if we want, or merits, as they're called. But we're not going to do that here. We're going to grab all this fuel... Here's the FTL nozzle. And I think we're good to go. Yeah, we've got everything that is marked on the map. There might be... Failure to provide maximum cooperation to WCG guards is punishable by water boarding in accordance with subsection 484F. There might be some other things, like, scattered on the ground, but... Yeah, let's head out of here. So sometimes we'll come onto a ship and there's, like, different variables. So sometimes we'll have something blocking our mini-map and we can't see anything there. Sometimes we'll have, uh, no power. We have to find power to turn it on because then certain doors will be inaccessible. And, uh, this is kind of... this is kind of the gameplay loop, but the idea is that you're trying to fulfill these objectives and get to, like, the end of, uh... Th I imagine there's going to be other objectives after we get that ID card set up, right? So, we'll see how far it goes. I don't know. Um, we have a little bit of fuel, a lot of food that we got. Let's stow all of this. We got that FTL nozzle. So, we can use this to heal if we want. It's just, it's so inefficient, but you know, you gotta try and stay alive. So we're getting bio, data, slag, and volts. The stapler can be built now, so we have the nozzle. It's another weapon that we can use. Exciting. Your KPIs are really trending up. KPIs, key performance indicators, for those that are wondering. It's like bank lingo used to be one of those. It's fun times. Fun times. Now, if you take a look, these are different parts that we can create instead of trying to find them out in the uh, out in space. And you can see the costs associated with these are pretty high. So, like, this requires 80, uh, 20 data, 20 volts. It's like a lot of work to get these bad boys. Um, over time, we might be able to build some. But for now, we rely on pretty much just finding what we can. So, uh, we're going to go here. This is, there's food there. There's all types of materials. Fast Whacker and Zappers for this XTC stim. And uh, security is deactivated, so no uh, turrets. Uh, but there are some janitors, but we could probably deal with that. So, anyways, this game's really good. Like, it's really good. 
I hope you guys enjoy because I'd like to put out a bunch of videos of this. I, I think you'd really dig it. And uh, every time you guys play through, it's different. You get different guys, you get different skills, you get different stuff. The ships are in different orders. You find different stuff. It's really enjoyable. So, um, yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching. This has been Void Bastards. If you like the video, it helps me a lot because it's the first one in the series. If you just drop a like on it, that would be great. Otherwise, uh, just have a great day. We'll see you soon. And bye for now.